Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can rotate a block of content in your Squarespace website. Now, the base code is listed in the description below, but there are quite a few things that you're going to want to change about this code to make it work on your own website. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how this works. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I am using the latest version known as 7.1, but this code will work for any version of Squarespace. So no matter what you're using, you're in the right place. This right here is the custom CSS that we're going to use today. This is going to tell a browser to rotate something by 45 degrees or 45 DEG. We can totally change that value and I'll show you exactly how it works. First, we'll rotate a block of content and then we'll rotate a selector. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'll teach you about it all. We're going to start right here with this image of Gus the Pineapple. Now, all we're doing today is adding custom CSS. So I'm going to select design and then custom CSS at the very bottom. Gus the pineapple isn't the only image on this site, so I wanna make sure I'm rotating just this image, and to do that, I'm gonna grab its block ID. Now I have a free Chrome extension linked in the description below. I use this Chrome extension, I just click on it, grab a block ID and turn it off. It's a free Chrome extension, not affiliated, just a fan, but I'll take that block ID and paste it right here in my custom CSS. Now let's take this code that we've written, transform rotate 45 DEG. I'm gonna add a curly bracket right here after the block ID and I'll paste that code and check it out. Gus has rotated 45 degrees, but nothing else on my website has just that image. Now again, you can change 45 DEG to whatever value you want. You can make it negative if you want to, or maybe just rotate them just a little bit by negative five or even 0.5 if you want it to be barely noticeable. Super customizable, change that value to whatever you'd like to see. If that's all you wanna change, select save and you'll be good to go. But if you wanna rotate multiple types of something, you can do that with the selector. Now I'm scrolling down to my example here. This right here is a list section with multiple images, title and description. What I want to do is rotate this text a little bit so that list section looks a little more exciting. The selector for that text is list item content. So I'm going to paste that right here in my custom CSS. I'll open up a curly bracket and I'll say transform rotate and let's give it just maybe a, a five degree rotation just a little bit. And there we go. Now I've rotated just the text, but every single instance of that here on my site because I used its selector. The selector is how a browser identifies each one of those items. Instead of isolating just one thing at a time, like we did with the block ID, we used a selector to change multiple things at once. Now you might be wondering, can you combine them? And you absolutely can. If we want to rotate Gus and we want to rotate those titles, no problem. I'm going to grab his block ID. We'll turn that extension off again, and I'll enter a new line of code here, open up a curly bracket, and I'll say, transform, rotate, 45 DEG. And now Gus has rotated way more than the text has because you can have multiple lines of CSS in your site. Whatever you decide to change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. That base code that we just used is listed in the description below. And if you're interested in using just the block ID, I've also linked to that free Chrome extension that I used, not affiliated with them, just a fan. If you wanted to use a selector like I showed in some of those examples and you're not quite sure where to grab a list, I've got you covered. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS and there you can download my list of Squarespace selectors. It's called my CSS cheat sheet and it's a little over 100 pages of custom codes, pro tips, and selectors that I use to customize Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and a comment if you did and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.